I guess where I start is, of course, we can influence that, but much of the drive has to come across the whole workforce, and that is influenced from leaderships and reward uh, professionals. But to truly make a difference, everybody has a, has a role to play um, in that. Um, in Anglian Water, we're fortunate that we have a very clear purpose statement. Um, so therefore, you know, we know what we stand for. And within an HR team, we've created a set of values um, that we have values and behaviours that our employees um, understand and can, can work against. So therefore, we know um, we know what's right and wrong and acceptable behaviours across our workforce to drive that. So in my role, I'm fortunate that I sit um, on the steering group in terms of both inclusion and well-being. And I think the challenge for us is about how we bring those two together. Um, we have started collecting some rich data that we can use to feed to leadership, but we're very much in the early stage of data collection. So um, what we're, we're trying to do at the moment is to bring the diversity, inclusion and well-being agendas together to help influence action. And as I said, by sitting on that, um, on that board, that, that can help me influence that. The other thing that I just wanted to, to mention was we have um, an inclusion steering group. So that is a very informal group and we're up to about 100 members that sit on that. We purposely at this stage don't have leadership that sits on that group but we take the output from that group, which is a very free flowing, engaging, there's no boundaries in terms of conversations in a safe environment. And we can take the output from that, which helps influence our strategy and therefore engagement with our leadership teams.